So we got some brand new leaks and information about the part two DLC to Scarlet and Violet, the Indigo Disc. So the first thing we have is regarding the Ultra Beasts. So originally people kind of thought Ultra Beasts were actually going to come into Scarlet and Violet, which I think the DLC would actually be like the perfect place to bring the Ultra Beasts into the game. But unfortunately, it looks like they're actually not going to show up in Scarlet and Violet. Also, guys, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway is subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment down below letting me know you want to be, you know, in the giveaway. And make sure to stay tuned for future videos. And then once I hit 10,000 subs, I'll be announcing that winner. So anyways, Riddler Q tweeted out a picture of all the Ultra Beasts with like a sad face emoji. Which means they're not coming into the game, unfortunately. And then he also made a reply with like Robert Downey Jr., which is kind of funny of like being like relieved because a lot of people don't like the Ultra Beasts. I think they're kind of cool. They took a while to like grow on me though, but yeah, a lot of people are relieved, but then also a lot of people are a little upset that they're not actually coming into the game because I mean, they're pretty cool. Some people are upset in the comments, some people are, you know, happy. Like this dude says, I don't miss them straight up just doesn't miss the ultra beast at all i think it would just make sense for them to be in the dlc though because we have like the paradox pokemon which originally i thought were from the future but like as of like yesterday i saw some people saying they're from like a different dimension in the future but brought back to this dimension somehow so now i'm all confused about paradox pokemon because i thought we already had them confirmed as just like future pokemon that came back anyways yeah, it would just make sense because Ultra Beasts, if you don't know, they're like from a different dimension. They're from a place called Ultra Space, I believe. And, you know, they're essentially just alien Pokemon. So I think it would actually be cool to see them in the DLC. It's a really cool place to put them. And it's a lot better of a place to put them rather than in like the mainline game. Like if they're already in Scarlet and Violet on release. I think the DLC is a perfect spot to put the Ultra Beasts in. On my community page, on my YouTube channel, I actually just made a post about like if you want the ultra beast in scarlet and violet so far i literally just made the post there's two votes for yes we'll see how that ends up looking in a few days i think most people are gonna say yes though also there's a tweet from central leaks in which he states there will be a new method to catch legendaries like in previous games dynamax adventures Ruminous park and ultra warp and then he also says ultra beast won't return in that same tweet so unfortunately ultra beasts are like 99.9% .9 confirmed to not be in the game and i say that because there's always a small chance and we're still a while away from the dlc part two so as time goes on more stuff is going to be data mined and could be like more confirmed you know what i'm saying but it's pretty much confirmed that ultra beasts are not coming back and then also riddler q replied to another comment which i can't find the comment i saw it earlier but i can't find it in his replies anymore but somebody basically asked about the ways like how we're going to be able to hunt new legendary pokemon or i guess new to the scarlet and violet games legendary pokemon if that makes sense riddler q basically says he's going to make a post about that in the future so probably today or tomorrow or you know this week he's probably gonna make a post about how we're going to be able to catch or hunt legendary pokemon I'm kind of interested to see what Riddler Q is going to post exactly because his posts don't like straight up tell us what's happening. He kind of, he hints at it. You know what I'm saying? He gives us riddles, you know, Riddler Q. Makes sense, makes sense. So going on with that legendary Pokemon stuff. So it looks like 25 legendary Pokemon are going to make their way into Scarlet and Violet. But rather than being in seven star raids, they're going to be in different like side quests, which I think is great. Raids were cool, but they're so repetitive and now they're just kind of boring to me. I don't really ever do them anymore just because it's so repetitive and I'd much rather have these side quests. So that looks really awesome. And this is from like a, uh, this is from a different data miner. So this was like data mine information. So the leaker also says he believes it's for all the legendary. So this could change as we get more information, but he's like almost 100% sure that this is the case where it's going to be 25 legendary Pokemon in different side quests and stuff. Let me know what legendary Pokemon you want to see in the game. I personally don't really care at this point. I don't mind. I don't mind what we see in the game. But I also do think that the 25 different side quests to get these legendary Pokemon is going to give us so much more gameplay. Because doing 25 different 7 star raids for legendary Pokemon, that's going to be exhausting after like 5 raids, right? Like, I mean, I wouldn't mind if there are a few in the 7 star raids and we get like majority in the side quest. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we have a side quest, it's going to get us to explore the map more or whatever we have to actually do to get these legendary Pokemon. And it'll give us a lot more gameplay because gameplay gets stale after you finish the main storyline. It's kind of, you know, unless you're shiny hunting or doing like a, like a fun challenge with yourself or your friends about the game. I think the side quest is a great route to go down to catch some legendary Pokemon. 
Also, if I sound weird, it's because I'm feeling a little under the weather. I'm totally fine, but like, just wanted to mention that in case anyone thinks I sound weird right now. And also going back to Central Leaks, so somebody replied to that post about like the Ultra Beast and the Legendaries and stuff. And this guy asked um, if there are going to be some new Pokemon getting terrestrial forms like Ogre Pond or just other regular Pokemon. Central Leaks replied and said it doesn't look like it. So I guess we're not going to get new uh, terrestrial forms of some Pokemon. But his response saying it doesn't look like it makes me think that's not a confirmation. It just as of right now, there is no information or data about that. So within the next month or two, I'd say we're probably going to get a lot more data mines and leaks that are official. So that's something that I think we will come back to. I'm assuming that's going to be a bigger topic later on near the release of the DLC. Also, lastly, I just want to mention Diplin's evolution. This is an older leak. Like this has been out for two or three weeks now, but it looks like his evolution is going to be a Hydra, which is like a multi-headed dragon. So it's going to be the apple with like several apple heads. I think it's so sick. I think that's an awesome evolution. And I actually wish this evolution was released when we, when Scarlet and Violet like actually came out because I actually probably would have used Diplin. I like Diplin, but I never wanted to put him on my team. I think he's a cool Pokemon and everything, but I don't know. This evolution looks really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think about the evolution. Let me know what you guys think about the leaks and let me know what you actually want to see in the DLC. Personally, I don't really have that many opinions. Like, I just kind of am taking what we get and enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have anything specific. I don't have any specific legendary Pokemon that I would like to see. I mean, I would like to see the Ultra Beast, honestly. Like, the Ultra Beast to me, I didn't like them, like, at all at first. But they are pretty cool to me now. You know, their design is really out there. And I think that's initially why I didn't like them. But... I think it's like actually cool now. So I really do wish we got to see the Ultra Beast. Maybe we'll see them in generation 10 whenever that comes out. Or maybe there's going to be another game in between Scarlet and Violet and generation 10, whatever that may be, that will give us the Ultra Beast maybe. Also, so I just mentioned earlier about how I had a poll on my channel. As of right now, there's five votes now. And it looks like 60% of those five people said yes and 40% said no. So actually, now we're getting some people saying no. It's almost 50-50. If you want to go check that out, check out that community post. It's, it's easy to access on my channel. You literally just go to my channel and uh, click on community. But I'm kind of curious to see. I feel like it's going to be a majority yes, but I feel like it's going to be really close. I feel like it's going to be neck and neck. And something else that surprised me is uh, last week I posted another poll asking what game are you going to play first, Spider-Man 2 and Mario Bros. Wonder. 56% of people said Spider-Man 2, 44% said Mario Bros. Wonder out of 125 people, which really surprised me personally because my channel is Nintendo-based mostly. I mean, I make Sony or Spider-Man stuff every now and then. I was really surprised that 56% of people said Spider-Man 2, which is pretty awesome because I've played maybe 30% of Spider-Man 2, the storyline. It's an amazing game. I'd love to make a video about it in the future, but I don't really know what I'd do. But if you were thinking about getting Spider-Man 2, I'd say yes. It is such a good game. The graphics look great, of course. The storyline is really well written, in my opinion. And it's just such a fun game to play. But anyways, sorry for all that ranting. I thought it'd be kind of cool to mention the community post. I kind of want to do more polls in the future. I think it's fun to see. And I think it's fun to interact with you guys. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.